Trooper Ron Richardson from the Ellington Resident Troopers Office. Today we're going to talk about bicycle safety and we are, along with me, are Brooke and Carly. The first thing we're going to talk about is, is helmets and then bicycle safety. When you're wearing a helmet, it needs to be undamaged, no dents, no damage to it from previous collisions. Once it's on, it's supposed to be roughly two inches above your eyebrows. So it's be on, on the top of your head, relatively flat. When you pull the straps down, it will, it will form a V under each ear. And when you tighten your strap, you should have just a little bit of room, uh, approximately enough to put two fingers underneath the strap. No looser, no tighter than that. Bike safety with a helmet. Helmets are actually absolutely essential and they're required by law for anybody under the age of 14. Hi, I'm Judy Manfrey and I wanted to show you exactly why it's so terribly important to wear your bike helmet when you're on wheels, on skates, on bikes, on trikes, or on skateboards. This is my friend Sally. Sally just loves it in the winter, in, in the springtime, whenever the winter's done and the sun is out shining and she gets her bike out and she rides around her neighborhood. She lives on a very safe street so she can ride on, on the street. But while she was riding, she was, she was just having a really good time and all of a sudden she slipped in that sand that collects along the side of the curb and so her wheels went out from under her and oh dear. What did Sally forget? Sally forgot to put her helmet on. And she's not a very happy camper right now. Okay, so now I have my friend Joey. Joey lives in the same neighborhood as Sally does. And he rides around on the street too because it is a nice, safe re neighborhood. However, there are a lot of driveways and people going in and out of the driveways. So Joey rides, but he always puts his helmet on, always. So I have this little styrofoam egg that is just like the styrofoam in your bike helmets. And you always have to put the chin strap on. You always have to do the chin strap or your bike helmet would not be effective at all. So Joey is riding around and he's having a good time out on the road and all of a sudden a car is backing up out of a driveway. They didn't see Joey and Joey has to stop so quickly and he falls onto the ground right over the handlebars. Let's see what happened. Is Joey okay? Do you think the helmet has protected him? Oh, Joey's still smiling. He's a happy camper and he'll be able to ride his bike tomorrow, all because of the helmet that saved his head. So what we're going to talk about is a couple of safety things that you want to discuss before you get on your bike. First thing, we'll call it the ABCs. First things we're going to check are air in the tires. Good. Good. Okay. Second thing we're going to check is the brakes. We have two different types of brakes here. We have the hand brakes, and when you when you depress these, you want to make sure that they don't go all the way to the handlebar, and that the brakes are depressing on the wheel. This type of bicycle here is uh, the brakes are engaged by pushing backwards on the pedal. Are they working? Okay. The second thing, the third thing you want to check is to make sure that the chain is on and tight and lubricated. Good to go? Okay. On this type of bicycle, you're also going to want to check the quick release levers on the tires to make sure that they're tight. You, want to, you don't want to be going down the road and have the wheel fall off on you. Obviously, you're going to pull a digger over the handlebars more than likely. Now, once you're on a bicycle, you're going to go ahead and sit on the bikes, girls. You're going to want to make sure that the seat is adjusted properly. You should be able to touch both feet to the ground while you're sitting on the seat, okay? Um, without having to stand too much on your tiptoes. These are, are both uh, bikes that are made for girls, so there's a little bit room to work with. If you're a, a boy, you want to make sure that um, you can still, you, you aren't uh, wobbling on, while on the seat and you can still touch the ground. Um, there's more to it, of course, but when you pedal, you don't want your knees up here. You want your knees just slightly bent at full extension on the bicycle. 
The next thing we're going to talk about is once you get on the road ready to ride. First of all, let your parents know where you're going so they know which way you're heading and when you'll be back. Once you get on the road, before you get on the road, you want to make sure you have bright clothing. Um, something light in color, white, green, orange, uh, something that will show up a little bit more visible for traffic going down the street. Bicycles are meant to be ridden on the right side of the road. So you are going with traffic as close to the right side of the road as possible. You're not supposed to ride double on the, on the roadway, so you want to uh, make sure that you're riding in single file. And again, obeying the laws of the road. You should stop at all stop signs. Stop at all traffic lights. And also, you need to signal your intentions to the other traffic or other bicyclists behind you. So, if you're riding down the right side of the road, first of all, you have to have your hands on the handlebars. No riding without hands, even though many of you can probably do it. So you have to have your hands on the handlebars. If you are making a left turn, what do you signal to the traffic behind you? Using your left arm, you point it out in the direction that you want to travel, and you should glance over your shoulder to make sure traffic is yielding to you as you make a left turn. If you are making a right turn, what do you signal? Right. Proper signal for a right turn is with your left arm extended straight up, and that tells people that you are making a right turn. If you are signaling to stop for other bicyclists behind you or other traffic behind you, your arm straight down. That signals that you are going to stop. Those are the proper hand signals for people operating bikes on the roadway. A lot of people ask, Should, can I ride on the sidewalk? Technically, sidewalks are pedestrian, are for pedestrians only. If you're in an area that where it has uh, rails to trails or large areas where bikes are permitted, just remember that you can ride on the sidewalk. However, pedestrians have the right of way on the sidewalk and you have to yield to them. On the roadway again, just remember you have to obey all traffic signals, all traffic signs, and uh, for instance, if it's a one-way street, you certainly don't go the wrong way down a one-way street. Um, crosswalks. If you are on a bicycle, you're actually a motor vehicle at that time. You're, you're, you're supposed to follow the rules of a motor vehicle. If you are crossing a crosswalk that is made for pedestrians, the safest thing to do is to exit your bicycle and walk your bicycle across the crosswalk. So just a reminder, when you're on the roadway, if you're walking on a roadway, you walk against traffic so that you can see traffic coming at you. If you're riding a bicycle, you ride with traffic. Now what do you do if you're over at your friends and you look up and you're like, oh boy, it got dark. What should you do? First of all, if you're going to be riding at night, you have to have a headlight on the front of the bicycle so that it projects forward. Another thing that I would recommend is a flashing light on the back. In fact, I would recommend a flashing light at all times if you're on a busy road. It makes you more visible to, to traffic that's coming up behind you. Uh, both these bicycles, as you, as you see, have reflectors on both the front and the back of the bicycle. Okay, one right here, one right here. Also, the pedals have reflectors on them as well. So you want to make sure if you're riding at night that you're, you can be seen from other vehicles and that you ha or have a uh, working uh, headlamp on the front of the bicycle. Many countries, many states also require, require that you have a little bell on your bike um, just to signal that uh, you, you are coming up on other pedestrians or other traffic, other uh, bicyclists. These don't have them, but it's another thing that you can consider. You can also consider this one has them. Okay, good. And another thing you can consider is a small mirror on either your helmet or on the bike so that you can see traffic coming up behind you. So again, walk against traffic, ride with traffic. Nighttime operation, again, I, I have to reiterate that bright clothing is essential if you're going to be riding uh, bicycles during the hours of darkness. Again, something that's, that's reflective, good reflective clothing is much safer. So. Now that we're undercover because it's raining out, we'll talk a little bit about riding uh, in inclement weather. I would never suggest that you ride when there's ice on the road or snow on the road. Um, I see that on occasion with different styles, bikes, mountain bikes, the big tires, but it's just unsafe because uh, the roadways are narrower uh, due to the snow banks and also people 
uh, can't quite, uh, aren't really expecting bicycles to be out there uh, during inclement weather. If you have a thunderstorm that's passing overhead right now, you want to get yourself to a safe location uh, for you and your bike and uh, try to, again, people, you're, you're more difficult to see when it's raining out for the traffic going down the road. So find a safe location and I would advise that you don't ride your bicycle during the inclement weather. Um, another thing that we want to mention is um, carrying items. If you're on a bicycle, make sure your two hands are available to hold on to the handlebars or make hand signals as necessary. Do not carry items in your arms uh, while you're operating a, a bicycle. Uh, nowadays, everybody has a backpack, or you can also get a, back, a bag for the back of the uh, bike that goes and gets mounted on. I would recommend that you use that or a backpack. Do not carry items while you're operating a uh, operating, uh, bicycle down the road. But furthermore, there are certain laws that says you cannot carry items while you're going down the road on a, on a bicycle, believe it or not. Um, also, you have to keep at least one hand on the handlebars at all times. There's other statutes in Connecticut that says you can't ride a bicycle with no hands, right? And that's about it. Uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to call the Ellington Resident Troopers Office or we can uh, always uh, have a bike safety course uh, set up for any organizations that we have in town. If the kids want to get their bikes together and meet at a safe location, and we can go over the safe, safe riding techniques at, uh, in the future. Thanks for watching the Bike Safety. We hope that you have a good, safe, and fun riding experience on the road. And no matter what you do, be, be safe! safe.